The northern shrimp here, the season is closed right now. It's been closed for a couple of years. Unfortunately, the stocks are down, so we can't take them anymore. The shrimp that you typically would find here might come from the Gulf of Mexico that would be wild caught. Most of them are coming from Southeast Asia, maybe Central America that have been farm raised, processed, frozen, and then shipped over here in 10 pound boxes. But they're also now coming back to the U.S. and being stocked out in small grow it operations where we use bioflock as a way to grow these shrimp in small areas. Bioflock is interesting. It's sort of like a, a living water. It's brown, it's thick. It has microalgaes, macroalgaes in it. It has food that the shrimp can actually eat as a secondary food, even though they're still fed a pellet. People that have interest in this type of bioflock technology includes fishermen and, and farmers, restaurants and, and high schools to teach students, universities. We took some shrimp from a grocery store that were farm raised in Indonesia. They were processed, heads off, deveined. So we have here one of the shrimp from the bioflock system. And then we have here one of the uh, shrimp from, from Indonesia that's a farm shrimp also. And it was quite noticeable when we took those and we boiled them right next to shrimp out of the tank and we tried our shrimp. And you could tell that ours had a real distinctive flavor. Very nice and crunchy and kind of a sweet taste to it. Very good. As opposed to the watered down version of the processed shrimp from overseas. A bit blander, milder with, with this one from Indonesia. Because we can do higher densities, we can do it in smaller areas. And we do have areas like in, in barns or garages or basements or even greenhouses where you can maintain temperatures certain times of the year to grow these shrimp out in a short period of time. It could even be looked at as an alternative crop for somebody in a greenhouse that has a summer crop, spring, fall, but then they're not doing anything in the wintertime. If you heat that building up a little bit, you could grow shrimp in, in four months' time and take it to market. This would be a good way where shrimp that are recently produced locally produced would be available for the local seafood markets or grocery stores. You know exactly how it's been handled, how it's been grown, and it's as fresh as fresh can be.